and welcome back to What You're Cooking. Cookin'. Yeah, good to see you back, buddy. Good to be here with you, mate. And of course, uh, we are already on episode 24, and uh, we're going to have some changes on the program, I heard. What's happening? Uh, I think we're going to my house. Really? Mm -hmm. So we're going to move from my house to yours in the coming episodes with a brand new setting and a brand new environment. We're going to a new kitchen at the Singapore Sport Institute. Oh. My house, you'll be my guest, we'll lay it all on for you. So we have and a new playground. Fantastic. So yeah. for our viewers who have been following us over the past uh, 20 over episodes, thank you for still staying on with us on What You're Cooking. And of course, uh, coming up is a new place, new environment, but that is on the next episode to come. And of course, uh, you know, with uh, you know, new environments, new changes, we're still giving you some of the best menus and recipes right over here. But before that, I got a really good friend that's coming on for this episode. You know oh. who? No. Huh? No? Hey. Yeah, make a guess. Male, female? Probably female. Oh, yeah. A couple of female guests over the last few episodes. Uh, and you are right. Yeah. Okay, so coming up to join me today, we have Singapore's very own actress and show host. And this is none other than Shamin Seh. Hello. Hi, everybody. You sound like a lion. Good to see you. Pleasure. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so we're still on the new way bump. to say hi, right? Yeah, new way. All right, and we're still keeping safe distances. Yes. You are the nature. final guest really? for the episode on this playground. So you must. You're be... moving house, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're moving house. So uh, nervous? Mm, not really. So I'm honored to be here. Oh. Last episode. Oh, in oh, your yeah. house? Yeah, in, um, in my house. But okay, just curious. Uh, <laughs> tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, what you do uh, on a day to day basis, about your work and stuff. I'm an actress and also a show host. So mm. of course, um, I host road shows, uh, host events, and mm. of course, I act in uh, TV shows and movies. Um, in movies like Long Long Time Ago, 1 and 2, and Our Boys to Men 4. Long Long Time Ago 3 is also coming up soon, so stay tuned, okay? Wow. <laughs> so she has lots of productions, huh? Very cool. Uh -huh. you. <laughs> uh, you know, when it comes to the circuit breaker, all right. Uh, we all know that the events industry is quite impacted, right? Yeah. So, as a show host now, uh, what are some of the ways you're actually hosting your programs? Oh, online. So right now, I'm also hosting some of our Facebook Live, which is actually quite popular right now, right? Mm. So everybody's going on Facebook. I'm going on Facebook too. <laughs> no, I've seen some of Charmaine's program, and recently she's also been doing quite a fair bit of cooking. So the kitchen is not going to be an unfamiliar place. Oh, very nice. I hope so. Yeah. So Rico, <laughs> tell crossed. us a little bit about today's theme and what is the recipe that we have for the very first dish. I'm, I'm just looking at your really tight shirt. <laughs> I'm thinking mussels, right? Oh, so okay. we got to go mussels. We're going to cook some mussels today, shall we? Oh, seafood. Yeah, Fantastic. seafood. We poach some fish. Beautiful and I mean, beautiful umami broth. Fantastic. Right? Mm -hmm. And then because we're flipping out of here, so we're going to flip some French toast to... All right, sounds mm -hmm. like it's going to be a tasty meal over here. So let's bring in the ingredients uh, for the very first dish. What do we have? Right, let's show me and guess how about that. Let's show me you try to introduce what's on the table. La. Introduce? Huh? Salmon? <laughs> No lah, that's sea bass. No lah. <laughs> okay. Don't make me blur. Okay, salmon. Salmon, salmon. Mushrooms, right? Oh, mushrooms, yes. What kind of mushrooms? mushrooms. Inoki mushrooms. Inoki. Good. Right, chef, yes. am I right? Chili. <laughs> Chili, okay. Yeah. And then, um, what do you call this? Pak choy? Yeah. Oh, your favourite. Pak choy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've this got... Is not bad. Yeah, she's going well. Am I doing well? Yeah. We've got celery. Yes. Yeah. What's in front? Lemongrass. Okay. Ah. This is small. Julie, that's cool. Am I good? Am I good? Yeah. Um, what's this? What's this? Ginger. Yes. Young I, or old? It's young ginger. Young ginger. Yes. Like me. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, this one I don't know. Leaf. <laughs> Correct. Halfway there. Is it it's a leaf, right? Leaf? Yes, lime leaf. Oh, lime leaf. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I got it half correct. Yeah. Oh. What else did I miss out? No. no that's more. all right. Sauces. Oh, this one I know. Hokkaido soy bean paste. <laughs> Very good. That's for our miso broth. Oh, All that's right. miso that's broth. Good. And, yeah. okay, what's this? Oh, scallop stock. She looks like she's doing a live stream program already. She's selling it really, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. So Rico, what's so unique about this dish? What's the nutritional value behind it? And why are we going in okay. so much? Well, I, I, I would like to put Charmaine uh, at the, 
on the driving wheel on the wheel. Can we switch sides? Yeah. Because you're going to start yeah. cooking. And I get to start and that, watching and eating. I'm yeah. going to move right over. We and go, you can take center. And we can take, talk you through it. Um, and I've got a beautiful big piece of salmon. And what we're going to do, rather than pan fry it, is we're going to poach it uh, in a miso broth, which will oh, 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 so keep it really moist. And, um, and what we're going to do is then take that out uh, and we're going to flake the fish and we're going to pile it up with an enoki stack oh. and, and a little bit of broth over the top. It's going to be very umami, very, very nice. Would I call this a fusion style, Rico? Uh, no, it's quite... No, I don't think so. I think it's stayed straight out of the Orient. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, Oriental style. Yeah. Oh, yes. And what Rico done is correct. You have to wash hands first. Yeah, wash your hands. I'll take the salmon off mine. Wash hands. Okay, quick wash. Yes. All right, first step is scallop stock. I actually wanted fish stock, but I couldn't find any in the supermarket. So I'm just going to put um, a couple of teaspoons or more in mm -hmm. there. You can be liberal, around about one glass of water per teaspoon. So that's about 400 mils of water. And then we're just going to add the miso paste. A couple of tablespoons. Again, we can be really liberal with this. We want a lot of stock to cover the salmon. And, Ooh, it, it and, really it, nice. and it just the miso it yeah, it just makes a really nice um, sauce for the end of it, you know, which yeah. becomes a bit of a soup as well. So Charmaine, can you please Charmaine, put, it on you're gonna put be on the, this here yeah. on the steering wheel now. I'm just going to stir it. Yes, yes please. You yeah. Do you trust me? Yeah, <laughs> I trust you all the way there. So that's on a on a moderate heat. Now I'm going to chop a few things up here while we do this. So we want a chili. Mm -hmm. Do you like chilies, Charmaine? Oh, uh, okay. I like it. Yeah, a little, little, little bit. It looks a bit spicy, but it's bit, good. A little bit of heat. We'll just slice that up roughly. You want to pop that in the pan? And it's coming well. together nicely already. Okay, just yeah. Let's just use your hand and just lift it and put it in, no? As the heat yeah. comes up, you know, the miso will dissolve anyway. She wanted to do it chef style, like, leave the whole entire. Oh. Uh, See? That's nice. Professional. 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 In disguise. In disguise. <laughs> yeah, you can act, but can you cook? <laughs> I'm a bit nervous now though, <laughs> like, yeah. Mm, yeah, am I doing it right? Is this the first time you're on a program that has cooking involved? Yeah, my first time. Alright, so um, with time. the ginger. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I noticed that Pop you didn't really slice well. it really thinly this time around. Nah, because so we're not, we're not going to eat the ginger, it's just really there to infuse the broth. The, oh, the flavor. Yeah. So Do you have to crush the ginger? Because sometimes like in Chinese cooking, you have to crush oh, the ginger. No. Yeah, Maybe this is where the fusion the comes smell. in, where we're, we're, we're um, blending Rico with <laughs> with yeah. the orient, right? So no, I don't squash it. I just put it in like that okay. and it works just nice. I think when yeah. you squash it, sometimes we feel that it releases a little bit of Yeah, that's what, what some people sauce, do, the right? Juice, right? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We can do that with um, the lemongrass. Yeah, we um, make lemongrass, we usually squash yeah. it so that it comes out. Yeah. And we will always remove the outer layer because it's yeah. a little bit older and drier. Yep. Yeah. And then we just uh, anyway, you just pop in. that in. Lovely. <laughs> Um, garlic, oh. I would generally oh, squash. Smell it already. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Once, you, once you press yeah, it down, it has this nice lemon smell. Lemongrass smell. My leaves. Yeah. yeah. Take a sniff of your the leaves. Uh, kappa lime leaves. It smells really good also. You get yeah, lime flavour. Okay. Yeah. We well, can pick the heat up a little bit on that, I think, Charmaine. Which you, is you whack it up the full one? blast. Yeah. yeah. We up to seven so they get boil. Get it up nice. Okay. So do yeah. we want it to be boiling hot or do we have it to simmer that's all? Bring it up to a simmer. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like boiling. Like. When yeah. you see the bubbles appear, then you can bring it down. Now the broth looks like it's simmering right over here. So once we are done with the, you know, bring it to a simmer, mm. uh, what's next? The next thing is the beautiful piece of fish and we're just going to slide that in really gently. Mm. I Do might... you slice the, the skin open like how we usually prepare fish? No, so we want to keep the skin intact. Otherwise the fish is going to kind of fall apart oh. and the broth is a simmer. Yeah, so the skin oh. really protects the fish from falling apart. Okay. And then at the end, what we're going to do when it's cooked is gently take that out and let it rest. And then see all, all of these um, fat layers in between the meat, mm. right? That's going to flake off. We're going to flake that off and, and it's going to be beautiful flakes wow. in our stack. So I'm just going to slide that in really gently. Uh, so skin up or skin down? Skin down. Always skin down, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, because right. you don't want you to flake, that's why you have the skin on, right? Yeah, now we okay. could probably turn that halfway if we want. That'll okay. be okay. So how long do we need to, uh, you know, leave it for simmering? Entirely depends on how thick the piece of fish is. That's quite a thick piece of salmon, so mm. it's probably going to need about 10 minutes or so, I would think. Wow. You could have a little chit chat. You guys used to work together, do a little bit of yeah. film. Why don't you have a catch up and, yeah, you know, I'll prep a little bit of long? vegetables. So, so tell us a little bit what, what you've been doing at home uh, to stay healthy, keep fit. 
sleep yeah. a lot. <laughs> okay, besides sleeping, <laughs> exercise of course, because you can still go out and jog and exercise yes, 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 yes. maybe once a week. Um, but eating wise, I think I'm just totally off. But since Dr. Rico is here, I would like to yeah. ask him as well because okay. I want to keep fit, right? But right. at the same time, I'm a bit lazy. Uh. Mm. So I'm a bit worried about like putting on weight, you know, at the tummy well, and all. Yeah. But I heard that if you cut down on your carbohydrates, mm, which I is see. what I've been trying to do, okay. like eat less rice. Yeah. I think for lean yeah. ladies like Charmaine, right, the main concern is to not put on a belly. La. I don't think yeah. I, mean, I don't think she needs to lose not weight either. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, not around the face, about the bellies. It really depends on um, how much you're exercising, uh, and how much you're eating, and how much you're sleeping. If you're sleeping less than six hours a night, actually, it's very hard to lose weight, to be <gasps> honest. Um, so look after your sleep. That really speeds your metabolism up. And then, actually, rather than thinking about how much less rice you're eating, think about how much more vegetables you're eating. So think about you know more greens, more salads, more vegetables. Try and fill up at least half your meal or half your plate or half your bowl with vegetables. Yeah, fruits and vegetables are very low in calories anyway. I'm just oh. going to slice some leaves while we do this. Yeah. Um, oh, so don't, don't so you should, problem, you should right? not be cutting down on your carbohydrates completely, right? You should still have a bit of like your carbs here in your pasta, noodles. Cut them down rather than cut them out. Like totally out, no. Yeah. Um, not necessary. What I've done is just chop down our bok choy while we're chatting. I like the way he cut, you know, you've actually looked so at nice. it right. To make it really fast, just instead of cutting it piece yeah. by piece, he, he actually rolls it, it together. Yeah, and, chopped it up. and that way we've got the nice gentle leaves and then, you know, the, I like these bits too, nice and thick and give, yeah, give you some texture in the dish. Um, and we're just going to cut up our They're celery pretty. as well. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think, I think moderation is a good approach and, and really just you know, look after your plate and, and get lots of vegetables into the into the dish. So what would we yeah. recommend a person who is thinking about maintaining or losing weight, the number of hours that they should sleep? You say below six hours. Below like six hours, uh, very hard to lose weight. The, me, the, the metabolic rate really drops. Yeah, the body so goes... So the keys the, to sleep more. Yeah, the body like gets stressed and it's like, let's hang on to everything. Yeah, oh. um, including the body fat. No wonder recently I went back to putting on weight, though I'm not eating as much. And I've been oh. exercising, but actually I reduced my sleep hours to four and a half hours a day. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, so your that's body will be really stressed now and it'll be like, let's hang on to everything because I'm, I'm getting into oh, you know, a bit of a stress state. Wonderful. And you tend to eat more, right, when you're tired? Yeah, that, that also happens. And you don't eat more of this stuff. You eat more Snacks. Sugar, oh, sugar, yeah, more starchy, carbos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I cut out my sugar. All the junk food. You intrinsically feel like different things. Sugar yeah. as well, it will, you, you have to cut down sugar, right? Yeah, like, yeah if you're underslept, you'll crave more sugary foods for that's sure. That's true, because yeah. of the energy that you need. So yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at this salmon and see how it's coming along, Charmaine. Can you have a look for me? What do you think? <laughs> Smells good. Yeah. One, two. Ta -da! Wow! Hey, wow! It looks like a very high, high level broth. Stew. It's lovely, isn't it? Wow. Oh, it's umami, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should um, baste it a little bit with that beautiful what? stock. Base? Um, base, yeah, just pop a little bit of that beautiful you, you stock. You mean shower it? You can give it a bath if I you thought want. you were saying, yeah. No, no, no. Have a shower, little fishy. Yeah. Shower, you shower. You get all those nice flavours over the top of the But we are basing it to make sure that the top area is infusing the yes, flavour, right? correct. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning well. Oh. Lovely. If you can't remember, just say have a bath. There you I go. have a bath. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's been in for around about 10, 12 minutes now, so I think it's ready. We can take it out. Can you pass me a plate, Ben? Can, yeah. Yeah, and let's get a fish slice. Fish slice. Okay, All right. slice one piece and place it on. Now, yeah, I want you to put a bit of pressure through the fish slice, Charmaine. I mean, see, it's bendy okay. for a reason, right? So you get right down under that fish, and it should just come up really nicely for you. So how you can handle? Yeah. You really going to trust me with that? Yeah, I trust think you. you can do it. It's really big. <laughs> Let's go. I need yeah. two. Yeah, get that fish slice right under it. There wow. you go. Right. Wow. It looks I might really need nice. a little bit of hey, might need can, a little bit of support at the other end because it's a really big. I can handle this. Big long piece. Nothing's too big for me. Look at that. <laughs> there you One, go. two, three. three. Hot. Yeah. Yay. Lovely. Oh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful. It's still intact. Nice. And just a little bit of that stock over the top just to keep it moist while it's. And you can see there. how. Moist and you know flaky it is. It doesn't yeah. look dry at all. When That's what just we want. Put the later on. It just slice right open. Yeah. We want to flake it. Yeah, in about I, five minutes. I right. feel like a professional cook now. You look like one. after I managed this. Yeah, look at that. All <laughs> yes, right. I should. Now I've got another job for you, Charmaine. While you're standing there, 
Um, celery into the stock, okay. bok choy leaves and stem into the stock, half the mushrooms into the stock. This, and this, yes, this, yes, yes. Half, half the mushrooms. Okay. Yes. Why not full mushrooms? Because we're going to yeah. reserve some just for some presentation oh. um, in the dish as well. So you, mm. you, you can actually eat uh, enoki mushrooms raw? We are going to put some at the bottom of the plate and then the hot stock over the top will just soften it a little bit. Ah. Yeah, so, so uh, we get a little bit of textural contrast, oh, that's fantastic. fine. Yeah. You want to eat it raw? Uh, yeah, I want to try. When you pass the plate back, I want to try. It's so very, it's actually in mushrooms. They're very raw. cute. Very I never cute. had raw mushrooms ever, but since you say, I trust you on it. <laughs> they probably won't have a lot of flavour. It's like a sponge. Mushrooms have a high water content. No, they're, they're, like eating they're quite spongy. Sponge. It's just quite nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Just that um, at the end of the bite, then you feel that very raw flavour. Mm. But when you're chewing on it, it's actually quite sweet. I'm okay, quite surprised. You can eat more. Um, I don't think I would eat it as a whole chunk. <laughs> la, because the ending flavour is a little bit robust. It's very earthy. Earthy, yes. It's yeah. very earthy. Yeah, yeah. because it's mushrooms. Let me yeah. dive on in. Okay, what, what can I help? I've been working for the last... You can. Okay, lid, lid back on uh, very okay, quickly. Oh, I know what I can do. Come, Dr. Rico. You put the lid, lid on the pan for me. Okay. You yeah. want it nicely spread at the bottom, right? Oh, well, you want to put it in this one, actually. Oh. Uh, let's, let's do two. You can have one. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to help you guys flip it so up. So just a little bit there. All so right. since we're yeah. on this enoki mushroom thing, that'd be nice. Dr. Rico, I want to yes. ask you: yeah. Is there oh, any yeah. like nutritional value for this kind mm. of mushrooms? Because mm. this is a very um, popular choice. ingredient, yeah, or mm. choice for steamboats. Yeah. And now that we're in phase two, everyone's going out for steamboat. Uh, <laughs> Everyone. Don't rush to the place. And ninety-nine huh? percent yeah. of the tables will order this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I Somehow. agree. I also order a lot. I order as well. But is there any like you know nutritional value for that? Very good for your immune system. Very good for your gut, actually. Yeah, good for mm. the natural flora, the natural bacteria oh. that live in your gut. Yeah, oh. um, and uh, yeah, good for your immune system. People are going to get out into the community now, and we need to keep our immune system strong. Right, should we okay. have a look at this salmon? Okay. You can have that. Yeah. Wow. It looks good. I'm, I'm looking forward to tasting the broth, really. Yeah. Okay. And um, I, I don't think I've done a lot of miso-based broth in my entire kitchen preparation. So this is going to be one of the few times where I get to, you know, try something new. This is where we want to take the skin off now. And it should just flake off quite easily for us. Oh, yeah. So is it okay? I mean, if I like fish skin, can I eat it? Yeah, I do too, actually. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of omega-3 in and under the fish. Yeah, uh, and under the skin. I wouldn't throw that out. Yeah, yeah, I would keep that. It's good collagen, yeah. right? Or give it to your cat. Yeah. My oh, yeah, cat, yeah. No. Give it to, give cat, it to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, it's quite delicious. <laughs> give it to me. It's quite rich. This is still pretty hot. It's very moist, isn't it? Look at that. Wow, look at the color. Yeah, and Gosh. you know, you can we, smell the flavor yeah. coming out. We can actually. Um, can I just eat it like that? Oh, look. <laughs> what we want to do now is just take the flakes off. Okay. Oh, it's very hot though. Just fresh out of the pan. Yeah, and I'm going to stop doing that for a minute because it's very hot. Yeah. So it just needs to cool down a little bit longer. Okay, so let's finish flaking this beautiful fish. Wow, mm. I mean, it looks really nice. The color, everything. Yeah. Yep, wow. Ben, look, you're spreading it everywhere. Yeah. I, I really think that I will We just put the whole piece there, we don't, we don't peel okay, it Okay, so for, for my version, I would like to request for more broth, less vegetable. Would you? <laughs> Didn't you just hear what Dr. Rico said? Yes, yes. We need to take more vegetables. Is this meant to be my one? Yes, you've got the biggest plate. Oh, i got another spare plate for you now. There we go. I'm going to keep some of those and we're going to... We're going to use, we're going to use that. Yeah. Okay, you flick onto you. Okay. my plate. Why your plate? Why not my plate? You're too thin really. I don't eat so much. Huh? But fish is healthy. I think that was my plate. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting over <laughs> who gets more portions. Plate. Oh, that's a nice little piece, Ben. <laughs> No, I want a nice big bit, piece. No, no, you, bigger, Charmaine? bigger. Oh, you want bigger I bit? like it bigger, bigger. Oh. More, more, more. How about that then? There we wow. go. Yeah. There you go now. Triple right. it up. Lovely. Okay, this is mine. All right. Style. Now, we want to get those lovely vegetables out of that pan. Ah, yes, and we don't want to overcook the vegetables, mm -hmm. right? Because they say that if you overcook it, the uh, yeah. vitamins are lost. Is it true? Yeah, they come out of the vegetable and into the stock. Ah, so yeah. and we are having the stock still, so it's yeah. not a bad thing, right? Heat tends to damage water-soluble vitamins. Mm. Mm. Okay. okay, let's have a look. What are we looking like in there? Oh, ah, lovely. Nice. Okay. Nice simmer. It's nice, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Now we want some off. tongs. We have some beautiful mushrooms in here. We've got our celery. We've got the chili swimming around. We've got the bok choy leaves. Yeah. The stems. It looks like so a nice soup. That's still a little bit crunchy. Mm. So that's really nice, isn't it? So now we just want to top off, leave the lime leaf behind. Top off oh. with a little bit of that on top. And we leave the lime grass. You lime like grass salmon? Charmin? 
I like to eat everything that's edible. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good thing that we, we are not picky on the type of food that we eat, right? But I, what I realized on uh, what you're cooking is that there are many different types of uh, vegetables and greens that they have actually brought onto the show, mm -hmm. which I usually don't consume. I also have certain perspective, uh, perspective about it. But after they cook it, huh, it's like, whoa! You eat everything. Everything tastes good. There we All are. Right. Yeah. Here we go. I want you to enjoy this beautiful mm. umami miso broth, That's poached right, salmon. That smells so good. Hot for you. Full of flavour. One for you. Thank you. I'm nice. Gonna drink it off, you know. Nice soft um, salmon. Best part of the show. Flaked. You get to eat. Okay, let's try that. Mmm. Mm. Mm, this is good. I will be back after the break. to what, what you're cooking. cooking. So we just had that amazing broth. Mm. Wow, it's good, mm. wasn't it? Amazing taste. Yeah. It yeah. Is, it's like a nice meal to have it as, I, I can have it as a tea time snack, I can have it for dinner, I can have it for lunch, but not so much for breakfast and supper. La. It's a very I delicate dish. Like, yeah, very delicate, supper. isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. The, the vegetables, you have that crunch there. I love got the, the salmon. Inoki mushroom, so nice with the broth. I, I drank the whole broth. I like the broth too. I drank the whole broth. I thought you were meant to have it with a spoon, but evidently <laughs> no, not. no, we just did it like that because the whole lot went up. Yeah, yeah. we so just good. did it like yeah. that. I gobbled it down. I had like yeah. three serving. Okay, I liked it. That's so, why I like that, right? Charmin, so, you know, there's one thing that we always do over here with yeah. some of our guests, which is a cook-off challenge, mm -hmm. and uh, Rico has a secret. Recipe prepared for us you to challenge take on. Me? Yeah, of course, <laughs> not. those that I, I know I can win, I will always ask huh? the challenge. <laughs> so, Rico, what, what do we have on the challenge today? Well, we've had savoury, now we should have a little bit of sweet, I mm. think. Yeah. Okay. And you know, Sunday morning, 
taking it easy, nothing like a little bit of French toast. Oh! Yeah, so uh, we're going atas one. I brought some brioche bread. That's French toast. Yeah, usually oh. we would use um, maybe like a stale loaf or something, but we go brioche bread what today. What is brioche bread? Mm. Let me see. So this is the bread that we have. And uh, what, what's so unique about brioche bread? Some, some of our viewers might have heard about it, but they, they may not know so much oh. about what brioche bread is. It's a French bread. It's a little more buttery. Buttery. Yeah, a little more rich. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a little kind of something special about it. Yeah. yeah. And you, when you touch yeah. you can feel that it's a little bit more oily. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it the is butter, that, buttery. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to switch side because that's my side. Okay. So we're going to walk over. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're going to just dive in. I think so. We've got your recipe there, um, okay. and it's very easy. It comes together very quickly. Go. Okay. 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 What? What? So, what are we supposed um, to do? So we just follow yes. the instructions. We'll follow there, so. and then we just and cook. Yeah, and then we just cook. Can yeah. not cook, just eat. <laughs> you could nibble on the bread. Like it's so good. Just a little bit of butter and jam. Okay. 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 Lovely. What? No problem. Yeah. The second. Two eggs. You get those up to speed there. Yeah. Okay. So we have. Ben. One loaf, loaf of, of brioche bread, or uh, two bread. eggs, one teaspoon mm. of one tablespoon of sugar, half teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon olive oil. Oh, we got all the ingredients butter. here. Yes, it's all here. Uh, one tablespoon milk, honey, fruit, knots. Serve. Serve. Nubs. Okay, so uh, take brioche bread, slice into one to two cm. Okay, I need another. Okay, okay, okay. I slice. I, I slice, right? Yeah. You slice. So you can be as um, can I slice here. Can as liberal as you like with the slicing if you want it. One centimeter, or if you want a nice big thick two ruler, centimeter please? one. No. Okay, so I need a ruler. No, I need that. Good feeling. See, I am very good this one. Here, very obviously. soft bread, isn't it? Yeah, it's so easy yeah. to slice in. Yeah. So two pieces each is just nice. Okay, easy. I'll do a slightly thicker one, a slightly yeah. thinner one. There you go. All right. Doctor Rico. Yeah. If I have got bread at home, okay, that is like say five days old, six R days old. Yep. Sometimes I'll just throw it away because it's a bit hard already. Right. Can I use it? You can absolutely. Use? Yeah. If you go to Europe, they'll never throw away a loaf of bread. Why? No, they'll, uh, they'll grate it into breadcrumbs, or they'll use it for French toast, or they'll use a panzanella salad, so they'll tear it up and they'll put it through with tomatoes and basil and olive oil. Also, and the juices from the tomato moisten the stale bread. So um, even if your bread is like a bit stale and hard and... Yeah, if it's no, a little bit no, hard and a little bit like that, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. okay. Yeah, it's actually perfect for this dish because it won't get too soggy. Oh yeah, yeah, because you mean fresh bread, it soaks up the yeah, too much, right? right? So you can that's still right. eat it. Yeah, I thought yeah. it has already gone wrong. No, like it's uh, a little bit of magic in that bread. How about mouldy bread? Yeah. Mouldy bread. <laughs> Only you eat mouldy bread. I could see bread. you eating mouldy bread. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't eat mouldy bread. Because you turn in the mold after that. Hey, one meter distance, go, 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 go. Hey, you need to make your egg. Ah. Oh, oh, me you too. Ha. You I want hot. to see you your do. Your pans are getting hot, so... Okay. You, no, you no, need no, to no. put a little splash of olive oil in each pan and a little knob of butter. The olive oil stops the butter oil. stops the butter from burning. Okay. So mm. oh yeah, because I always burn my butter, so a little yeah. bit of olive oil helps. Okay. I'm yeah, a little bit of olive oil first. Yeah. So a small two, drizzle. Yep. Two eggs. And another small drizzle because olive oil is healthy, so no harm having a little bit more. Sir. Sure. Right. So you helping me? You put the oil in there yeah, too. Yeah. So that your pan don't yeah. get over. Why it. why your pan bigger than my pan? Because my piece is bigger than your piece. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, crack eggs in the bowl, add milk and sugar. So milk, we add one tablespoon. One tablespoon, one tablespoon. This is how you whip up your Go eggs. on, Ben. Eyeball it, Ben. Yeah, I'm going to eyeball it. Yeah. Button. One tablespoon. Eyeball oh. it. Mm. Oh, oh beautiful. 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 What, what, what? Oh, I just blew my One tablespoon I'm getting all excited. Of, French uh, toast. I love roughly. French toast. One tablespoon. Use your roughly. La. Or you can use the spoon there. Oh, yeah, one tablespoon. And then we have... Perfect, Charmaine. Sugar, yeah, cinnamon, and okay. sugar and cinnamon. So cinnamon is yeah. half teaspoon. Yeah. Ah, you still need the spoon anyway. We well, could go a shake of it yeah. if you like. Is it got a little? This is like half teaspoon. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's okay. Okay, you can pass some. I want a nice bit of cinnamon, cinnamon powder. Yeah. I like the flavor, Can't so I can wrong. have more. Good for you. Uh, Good for your body. Half teaspoon of sugar, and teaspoon? then sugar cannot. I cannot make a mistake on sugar because it get too sweet, right? So how much sugar? One See? teaspoon. See, tap, tap, tap like that. Yeah, Hello, yeah. Uncle Ben. Mm. And great power comes great responsibility. There you, know? you go. The sugar is just going to help it all caramelize in the pan. Yeah. Well, You're not really, really nice. sweetening it up too so much. So I'm going to get a more cinnamon-like flavor, which yeah. I really like because it makes it very fragrant. I like it sweet. Great. Yeah. So mix it well. Okay, what have I added? Diesel what have I oil in the pan. Yep. Yeah. You need to put your butter, oh, butter into the pan now. We need butter now. too. Yes. Yep. So you, I will get the bigger pan, use the smaller pan. You can just cut through the yeah. foil if you want, Charmaine. Huh? No. With the knife. Really? You can. Yeah, you can. So what do I do? Like that? Slice it through. Yeah. Yeah, slice it through. That's a big slice. But you can slice it through and slice it to half. I can take half. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. Ready? Go. Let me do it. Let me do it, lah. 
，哎呀，哎，像好。因为 soft， it's soft， OK。你咪你咪掉位啦！你咪你咪掉位啦！你咪掉位啦！哦哦 ，OK。OK 啦 ，OK 啦。You win 啦 ，You win。Jump in 啦。Anyway， OK， 接着呢。Doctor Rico has given up. Like you all stand aside. I told Mike this would be a quick recipe, and you guys keep slowing me down. So let's go. OK, so after that. Uh, quick, quick! Come on, Mike. Both sides of bread into egg mixture and toast. Right, it. you got to dunk your bread Make in the sure egg now. Too soggy. Then it goes. Okay, that's simple. I'm gonna not too long, side. otherwise the bread will go soggy. Okay. Get bread in here, side. right? Thank you, Doctor Rico. All right, that's Ooh. that's bubbling for you there, Ben. Ah, one. All right, five. I think we need a little more heat on Charmaine's one. Yes. Because that's a little side. element. Yeah. And then we just drop I it. I need it hot. Oh, good. Ooh, I can, I can oh yeah, it's starting to bubble now, Shamin, and it goes, oh, three. lovely. Yeah, keep the heat going on it. Uh, I think mine is ready. It doesn't have to be golden brown, or it's just yeah. like white fish? It's nice mine? to be a little golden, a little yeah, caramelised. Yeah, mine yeah. needs yeah. to cook a little bit longer on one side. Let me just wash my hands. Ben's in such a hurry. It's okay, actually, to, um, to cook them one at a time as well. And you can see that the fragrance actually comes right out. Straight away, the moment you put it right in, and I think the buttery flavor. I can see usually when I use fresh bread, yeah, because I do toast at home, it gets a bit soggy. Yes, but this time around, it's actually nice and firm. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can smell the oh the egg with the sugar and with the, the yeah. cinnamon and the butter. Yeah. So when it comes to egg and bread, it's a good start to the day, right? It gives you a lot of energy. It's and your and carbs and your protein together, isn't it? It's a classic yeah. combination. Look at the sneak peek yeah. on your menu, on your recipe. Good. Ideal. After frying. That's sugar. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> so let's see whether the one with Ice more cinnamon sugar. tastes good or the one with... More sugar. Okay, I'm going to wash I my plate because I have some sugar, eggs right? on it. Actually, I, I, I thought today we could use a little bit of um, fruit instead of icing sugar because Ben's been piling the sugar up lately <laughs> and I'm looking at his shirts. Do we have fruit here? Yeah. tighter and I think maybe we just put a little healthy vibe on it. <laughs> All because of you, Ben. Of course. Oh, Ben, that's golden. Well, that's a nice golden up nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's the perfect yeah. color that you should actually it's obtain. Yeah. Ooh. Lovely. So you get that light crunch. Oh, yeah. it actually, actually looks good too. I want to put oh, more yay! Egg. Very nice. Put a bit more egg now, on once, it. Now, once it's uh, almost done, once you're almost cooked, I want you to take one piece out, leave one piece in the pan. I want to see who can flip it the highest. Ha! <laughs> you yeah, sure? That's the challenge today. Because remember, we're, flip. we're flipping out of here. This is our last show. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, so this is our last flip yeah. on the deck. Okay, I'm going to take this. But don't try I'm flipping gonna the pickup pieces. pieces. I'm going to just check my color yeah. on the other side. Perfect. I'm going to bring this out. Nice, Ben. That didn't take too long. Yeah. Okay, my. I'm going to flip first. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Not very high. <laughs> 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 okay, that's about the maximum high and go. 10 cm. Come on, Charmaine. I reckon you can get two hands on the handle and you can give it. You can give it a bit of that one, I reckon. Okay, oh, that's yeah. beautiful, looking beautiful. Charmaine, oh, yeah, yeah, it really looks nice. really nice, nicely caramelized. Of course, I cook this at uh, home too. So you are Wanna a eat this? French toast person. Mm, camera catch it. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch you flip. Probably chow tao though. Lovely. Mm -hmm. And now you flip it. You never tell me that I'm gonna do this on I set. I have no idea. Rico just threw <laughs> this out what? there. Can you use two hands if you want? Why you to? Yeah. Me? I've never done this before yeah. in my life. Okay. Right, oh, ready? Oh, flip, One, flip, flip, flip. Two, one, two. Aya! <laughs> hey! That was a nice flip, eh? Wow, that was a nice flip, eh? Wanna do it again? <laughs> try it, try it one more time. Come. One, two, one, two, three. three. <laughs> wow, that was like super fast one. They didn't even leave the pan. Yeah, they you know what it means like had a <laughs> But it flipped! <laughs> okay. Very nice. So Ben, you're you're garnishing yours with a bit of egg. Yeah. I've got some blueberries here and some nice apple puree as well. There's some honey, there's some peanut butter. I've always um, liked to use the leftover like. eggs and then just give it a quick cook. Lovely. Waste not, want not. Yeah, because... Extra protein for your muscles. I don't like to do it like that. I mean, turn the elements What's off there. What's egg burger? No, no, this my style. No, friend, friend. I like presentation, it. Oh, like a presentation, you know. And then just mm. add a little bit of uh, fruits in it. Only have blueberries. Blueberries and some apple puree there. Apple... Goes really, really nicely with this. I'm gonna just lay it inside. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing like an egg French toast huh. burger. Yeah, I never tried. 
I wonder how it tastes. I like, like what you're doing with this, actually. Yeah. I've not seen French toast presented as such. No, I do this all the time at yeah. home on my French toast, where yeah. I toast the bread, and then I put an omelette inside, right, uh, right. a little bit of cheese, oh, yeah. then I get some bananas, and then boom! Oh. I'm going to put this in. <laughs> okay. This is where you can use a little bit of baby food to your advantage. It's already cooked and Baby squashed. food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. There you go. What the I learned from puree. other chefs over the last episode. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Oh, I see. Ha <laughs> ha! What, 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 what? You learned how to make a mess. It's not a mess, it's supposed to be a pattern, eh? Yes, Dr. Rico. Ah. Yes. It's supposed okay. to be a nice pattern, eh? Oh, lovely, Ben. That's a lovely mess. <laughs> Charmaine looking very pretty there. Nice. I feel like I'm in a class. How are you going to pick that up now? Huh? How are you going to pick that up? I mean, I know you've got a big you mouth. You actually use the knife and then you slice through. Oh, I see. So you get that You're gonna nice be... burger flavor. Would you like a knife and a fork? Yes. Now let's break it up, my version. Lovely. I like what you've done the with it. Toasty baby. puree sandwich fruity burger. Honey. Oh, that's a good choice. Yeah. yeah. That's where we lovely. differ a little bit. I oh, use peanut butter super, and use honey. Give a little squeeze. There you go. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Oh, oh get that on the camera, Mike. That looks... Nice. Wow, very uh, nice, huh? Very sorry, nice. See, this is something that the little kids will want to eat, right? Oh, yeah. This is the kind of thing that all the daddies will want to eat, right? Let's I cook for the little kids. Here's a knife and a fork each. I want. Rico, you are going to judge us on this one, so I get might. the taste. Oh, okay. I will. I <laughs> the will. taste test. Close. Dr. Rico. Ooh, looks really yummy. You sure you're going to eat it? Uh, ten la. <laughs> can't go wrong with toast there. How is it? Mm. Nice. Too sweet? Too yummy? I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'm following right. him! You haven't <laughs> tried my one! <laughs> my oh, that's really nice. Mine's really bye bye, Daddy. Oh. Mine's really nice. Look. Bye, Daddy. Apple puree with. He's ignoring you already. Yeah, I'll give it a shot, buddy. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Dive in. Oh, Everything. Is, oh my god. This is the it's man's three burger. layer drizzle of big stuff with the egg and everything, and then go on a big bite. Yeah, you can put. Banana in there as yeah, well. I, I think I would put it definitely with banana. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good. Pass. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hey! So bad, man. <laughs> really? Is it good? Is the egg is it good? It's not bad. I uh, I prefer Charmaine's. It's a little bit sweeter. I think it's the honey she put on top. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. Yeah. But I want you guys to try. Tom, Charmaine, Yours try. Yours more savoury, more eggy. Yeah. yeah mine's mm. the savoury, eggy type. We try. Yeah. I try. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try. That's hey. why I try to be creative in my. Here you are, my right. friend. Thanks, buddy. You no. Know, and while I'm trying this out, right, I just want to check with you now that we're in phase two. Mm -hmm. How are athletes and you know dietitians working out on this? You know. We're working out. We're getting busier. Yeah. Mm. It's like a whole lot of beers coming out of hibernation. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, athletes are starting to get back into the training, back into their sport. Um, they're working uh, unused muscles and getting a little sore. Um, so important to eat well, get the blueberries in. Um, hopefully enjoy a treat like our French toast from time to time. But mm. so far, so good. Mm. Mine's really nice. quite different. Hers yeah, it is different, isn't it? Yeah, mine is more savoury actually, it is. Egg, and hers is um, really more like a breakfast. Because yours has dessert yeah. taste, right? Yeah. Yeah, very different. Mm. This is breakfast. That's forget it. It's dinner. <laughs> okay, so for the, That's mm. for the dog. <laughs> this episode declared winner, Shami. <laughs> but really, try try my try using the egg and putting it in. It's very nice. All right. So we will be back very shortly with our <laughs> online guests. So stay tuned right here with us. Yeah.
and welcome back to What You're Cooking. And of course, this is our final lap over here in this、uh, cooking playground. And、uh, because we're talking about laps over here, we got one good-looking lad that is coming right on. And this is our national swimmer. And、uh, without further ado, right? Rico, you introduce. He is Pang. Yeah, Pang. Hello, Pang. Hello, guys. <laughs> wow, I like his hairstyle, man. Yeah. Look like he just came up from the pool. <laughs> He's a good-looking seventeen-year-old boy, isn't yeah. he? Yeah.、Uh, we really got to give you a chance to showcase to our viewers、uh, some of the、uh, tournament pictures or the competition shots that we have over here. Let's see, Pam. Been swimming for Pang many years now. Um, this is my twenty-second year swimming now, so、yeah. quite a long time. Twenty-second year. Twenty-seventeen. <laughs> so, so in, how many years have you been in the in the sport? Twenty twenty-two years. Really? So how old are you? <laughs> um, make make a guess. Make a guess. I'll, I'll put you at about twenty-five, twenty-three. If you if you're really swimming. Close, close. Um, I'm actually twenty-seven this year.、Oh. So. Pretty, pretty old, the older swimmer in the national training center. Oh, you、now. don't look anywhere near your age, man. I put you at nineteen earlier on. You look a bit twenty-two. Yeah, so I think、22? the chlorine and the water does make a difference, lah.、Huh? So it's go, time to soak yourself in chlorine and water. I soak myself for three days, three nights. You use as a good shampoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about、uh, your your competitions. What has been lined up, postponed, and also a little bit on the training changes,、uh, right up to today. I think for now we don't really have a set plan yet. I'm sure that our association will let us know when they have any updates because right now it's just phase two, right? So、um, yeah, so we're still waiting for confirmation. Obviously, the the biggest one is that Olympics have been postponed.、Oh. So I guess、um, yeah, this was actually like my final try in trying to qualify for the Olympics this year. But I guess、um, with it being postponed one more year, we have more time to train. So I take that as As、uh, some like good news in a way, so yeah, I'm happy for that. Ah,、uh, so I guess、uh, there are pros and cons on the situation right now.、Mm. But many of the athletes have to push back, you know,、mm. their goals for a little bit more. So it's really not easy. Because、no. imagine training hard and then suddenly just move back a little bit. But I think positivity is is most important, right?、Mm. Now, curious, do you cook、mm. often at home? Um, ever since this uh like this circuit breaker period, I've been cooking a lot more, and of course, I've been getting advice from Rico. Because、um, I think one struggle which we have been、uh, like what Rico told us, right? We are not training, we are not burning as much as compared to we are swimming now. So Rico actually recommended me to eat like higher protein and lower carbs in my diet. So that's one thing I've been trying to stick to during this circuit breaker period. Moving on to like phase two, so I think yeah, been been watching my diet a lot and yeah, cooking more as well. Okay, so today we have good student,、Charmaine. good student. Yeah, so we See, have Charmaine. See, your teacher is here watching you. <laughs> That's Charmaine over there. No, you're a good student. All right, you're a good student. She's also a student for today. So, um, because we're talking about protein, right? Yeah. And I think Charmaine also needs a little bit of build up on the protein. No, I don't want. <laughs> so, what is the recipe that we have for today? Well, I mean, I'm seeing Pang sitting there, and、mm. I, and I'm seeing mussels. So I'm thinking we we cook some mussels. <laughs> I don't、He's、know. Add on the Rico has more muscles. I looked at you when I saw a salmon. Rico needs more muscles. I looked at Pang and I looked. I, I、yeah. think muscles. I don't know. Some people don't have muscles, ah. You have not. Do I? I don't show you. Rico doesn't need any more muscles. Show, show, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I don't want to eat these muscles. I want these muscles. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this show is going crazy today. Must have been the salmon and the broth. Why you cook these muscles? Take the wine away from me. <laughs> Right. I want this one. Okay, let's let's introduce the.、Uh, introduce the muscles.、Today. I told you. Oh, you mean this one? This, the one. <laughs> this is very quick. Okay, I'm going to put some people to work. Okay.、Uh, could you wash those for me, please? Oh, I have to wash it. Yeah. <laughs> work it. Work Charmaine, it. Can you can you move screen, to the、huh? steering wheel?、Okay. I'm going to put you on the heat. If you could put that on. Put the heat. I'm not getting off. Put that on a high heat for me, please. Yes, teacher.、Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and、uh, Pang, I think she should put some olive oil in there because it's very good for you, and it's、uh, it's a very good all right, around. All right, all right. Let's put some muscles. Yeah, put some olive oil in there. All right, and I'm just gonna.、Um, Wait, Rico. So how are we gonna cook the muscles like like that for you? <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> go to work. 
I saw that. I didn't see that. Are you getting cheeky? <laughs> so we got no like this is the muscle we're talking about. This are green yeah. muscles, right? Where where's it from? Yeah, I have no from, idea. From, from we go. Um, <laughs> could be New Zealand green muscles. Uh, like. yeah, green lip muscles, yeah. Our ones are pretty big. These are they could be. Yeah, because yeah. they are nice and flashy. Yeah. No? When we open up we will show you how it looks before and after. Yeah. So that so that's uh that's up, the isn't oil. it? Yeah, okay. So this yeah. Uh, um salary. salary. Yeah. It's like my payday, right? Here's some um, more salary. <laughs> 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 so I, I, do I put you it? You can put it in there, yeah. Okay. We're just gonna chuck it all in at once. Like Double up. Caesar. Yeah. I'm just yeah. this is very rustic. <laughs> hurry, hurry, and we'll do the shake, But we were shake, talking shake, about training, shake, right? Shake. So uh, as you mentioned, how how has training been like for you? Uh, up to today. We have been given sets by our coaches, so everything's been adapted to land. So it's kind of like, I feel, to be honest, it's like a fish out of the water. So, oh. um, yeah, I think training-wise, we have been working on like land exercises, trying to simulate like a freestyle pool on land with like stretch cords and stuff. And we have been doing joint Zoom calls with our teammates and coaches as well. So I think that has really helped us um, like make time pass faster for us in a way. And of course, uh, yeah, diet's been a crucial part of my training as well. So yeah, I've been talking a lot to... So what do you specialise um, in, uh, in terms of your, your competition platform? Are you like a 50 meter, 100 meter or what? I, I'm not very sure. Maybe you can share with us. Oh, um, I do the 200 meters individual medley. So it's all four strokes in one race. Oh. So it's because like, if I were to do one stroke at a time, I always find difficulty like winning so to combine all four elements into one it's like wow. jack of all trades so kind of like just do everything in one then that's where i benefited the most in uh, which is why i do the individual medley so there really is a lot of planning when it comes to mm. you know the the strength of, of the uh, athlete yep. in their particular sport right yep all right, so um, I really placed the muscles in. Yes, thank and you. And now we're going to add in your red onion. Yeah, so we're just putting the veggies in there with the muscles. Um, we want that really nice and hot and um, really nice. I love this step. All right, I'm going to let you step yeah. over because well, there's no more cutting. Charmaine can just pour all the pour oh. all the wine in there. Want a good? Let's, let's put uh, Sung Jin to the test. Sung Jin, can you see this? That's uh, leaf, leaf, leaf. That, oh, yeah? Okay, what kind of leaf is this? He plucked it from the tree outside. Make a guess, uh, come on. <laughs> Just coriander? We have also. Coriander? <laughs> is it correct? Uh, it's close. No. No. No? <laughs> oh. What is this? It's a similar shape. It's a flat leaf pa parsley. Oh, it's a flat yeah. leaf parsley. We're going to use oh, that at the end to garnish. Okay, okay. Yeah. Can we pour the wine in, Can Charmaine? I? Yeah. How, how much? Let's yeah. Let's put the whole lot in because it's the last. Oh, it's last the last show. show so let's right? finish it up. Yeah. yeah. Wine. Yeah. Good. Good turn of All in. Anyway, uh, yeah. because once we cook it, the alcohol in the wine will evaporate. It will. It's yeah. just giving it a nice essence flavor, a little bit of sauce at the bottom, and then we can mm. put the lid on, on full power, and, let it and steam really off. steam. Yeah, and steam off. That's great. Uh, lid on. Lovely. Thanks. Thank Jamie. you, Jamie. Right. You made our life easy on this. Episode. That's very pretty in there, isn't it? Eh? So parsley and coriander, what's the difference? Because I would say coriander mm, too. I mean, they look the same. It's just the flavour, really. Yeah. Um, so mm. both both greens, both good for so you. So if I don't have you parsley, plant. can I replace it with coriander? You could actually. I think when you're cooking and when you're the chef, you know, you're you're at the wheel. You stare at whatever flavour direction you want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, um, I like to ask like, what's the smell like? Because I can't smell it from oh, here. It yeah. does look really good. So yeah. And food this food doesn't smell. taste very well, very nice if you can't even smell it. You know, the, the whole taste process starts with the nose, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know. What is so, it I mean, how much does it smell, smell like? like? It smells awesome. Can I open it? it smells awesome. It's going to smell like steaming <laughs> yes. white oh. wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can smell the wine though. Oh. Yeah, you can open can it and, I, and just give a, a quick peek? whiff, let the flavour come out. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, lovely. You can smell the wine. Oh, yeah. Give him oh, a little bit so of that good. chili. Yeah, give him a little tan. Yeah. And oh, you lovely. can actually smell the, the, chili the spice, well. the, yeah. the chili. Yes, yes. It's, yeah. It actually it really floats very far. I'm, I'm quite a distance away. I can smell it. The, the wine is there. I would, I would just describe nice. it as a mouth watering. Yummy. Fragrant. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> I would believe that. Yeah. We will help you we'll to finish some, it though. all. So, I mean, any advice, anything you want to ask a swimmer that you, you, you know, we, we seldom have a chance to come in contact with yeah. national athletes like them, right? So yeah. as a as a actress yourself, when you look at athletes like that, is that has there been any burning question in the back of your head and you want to ask a swimmer like him? Is it very challenging to enter a competition? Because uh, when it comes to acting for us, 
Uh. Um, at the beginning, it's always very challenging and very scary to be in front of camera. You need to get past that, that you know, barrier. But for yourself in a competition, at that point when they say on your mark, go. How, how, how is that adrenaline rush there? For me, um, what my coaches always tell me is that uh, like, um, in, in a race, I, I need to just think less and not think so much. So um, to be honest, if you ask me like in a race, my mind is usually blank and we kind of go on like autopilot mode because we have been training so many sessions and stuff, right? So I think by the time a race comes, uh, we are just so used to doing what we do every day in the pool. So it just happens naturally. As in, there will be nerves, like when they say like take your marks and stuff. But then the moment yeah. you jump in, I think your mind is actually just, just blank and just, and just do what you do every day at training. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Okay. okay, this smells really good now. I can yeah. smell it. Even I think the, the fragrance is even deeper now. I Doesn't think, smell. I think it's done. I think it's done too, yeah. right? Okay. Oh. It's really fast. One yeah. Yeah. This is done. a very quick dish. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. You know, you got, how do we right. ensure that the, the muscles are not overcooked? How, how does it look like if it's yeah. overcooked? When the, when the muscle dies, it opens up, right? Yeah. So you, you don't want to eat any muscles that have stayed shut. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. So once, it, once the, because once the muscle dies, like a fresh muscle, when it dies, the shell will open. Yeah, oh. but um, if it had been dead before we put it in the pot, oh, so that's yeah, how you it'll, be stu it'll be stuck shut. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So that's so how you recognise it. So when yeah. it's open, it, it means that it's still fresh when, yes. it, when it's... Yes. When it's closed, it's, it's been dead yeah. for a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you don't want to eat that. Yeah. yeah. So if you pull the, the pan over here, um, Charmaine, what we can do... Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. Is you can ladle, ladle some of that into the into okay. the bowl for us, please. That will look really nice. Yeah. Yeah, get some of the juice and some of that vegetable. You're testing my cooking skills a lot that. today. Pile it all up. Muscles look great when they're just all piled up, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, Charmin, has it been difficult today? I think it has been quite simple, isn't it? Look at that. That looks lovely. I've got this professional here to, to help me. You've done a great <laughs> so job. I think I'm still quite safe. I think she's a natural. Uh, yeah, can I know the nutritional value of the muscles? Oh, um, I mean, muscles, yeah, high protein, very high omega-3. You know, mm. if you, people think salmon, they think tuna. They think uh, sardines, but mussels are right up there for omega-3 value. Very, very economical seafood. Very yes. good for the heart. Very good for your muscles. Ooh. Yeah, lovely. That's how does this, Rico, how does this compare to fish, no, actually? Like mussels as compared to fish? Very similar in terms of omega-3 mm -hmm. and protein content. Yeah, very good for mm -hmm. you. Put it on the menu. And as you can see, so quick and easy to make. So cheap. Um, all we're going to do is, is just serve this with a little bit of creme fraiche on the top. Oh. And that's just going to melt down, give it a little bit of sophistication, a little bit of creaminess. That'll go with the white wine. Beautiful. A little bit of this um, parsley. parsley on on top that could be coriander if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Right? And we just sprinkle that on top like that. Yeah. Wow. It's it's awesome. And it looks a really restaurant style. There you go. That would be a really nice little entree, a nice little light supper. Very quick. Nice after training. Yeah, it's very fast. So it looks like it's ready. So I'm going to plate it up. You know, yeah. uh, Sing Jin, though you're not here, we're going to tell you how it tastes like. That's the fun part of the show. I I'll get eat. double portion. Yes, so please. Eat. Yeah, me and Charmaine will eat yours, Pang. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will all right, you. all right, sure. <laughs> so maybe, maybe good. in the future, if everything opens up, maybe you can come to the show and, you know, have some cooking <laughs> experience with us live. Oh, hopefully. yeah. Yeah. You would like yeah, that, Yeah, I would eh? love to. That would be, that'd be great, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I look forward to that part. You know, as I was listening to him and while Rico is splitting out, I think one thing that's similar between athletes and actors and actresses is that uh, we are told about the same thing. When you are on set or when you're ready to go, keep an open mind, uh, space Focus. out, and, and don't think too much yeah. so that you can be as natural as you are, yeah. focused on whatever you're supposed to deliver. Mm -hmm. I think that is one part where the, uh, you know, mm -hmm. entertainers and... Uh, athletes can share a similar common, platform, isn't it? Right? And so, Sanjin, I uh, just wanted to ask you, uh, <laughs> as we are heading right in to dive in on this amazing dish, right? Is there anything, any positive message Actually, you want to share with your team members, members, your fellow <laughs> athletes, and also the uh, viewers of What You're Cooking? Um, yeah, for me, I just want to actually thank everyone for really being responsible during the phase one. Okay, we're in phase two now, right? So it's like, um, yeah, I'm just happy that we all were able to make it together as one Singapore. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for phase phase two. And of course, eventually when phase three comes, I, I guess we'll, we'll be back to our normal lives and 
yeah, I'm just grateful that everyone was really like everyone played their part into making yeah. this a smooth transition. So yeah, thank you to everyone that has yeah, everyone has been a part of it. So yeah. I think the SG United uh, mindset is is really important has come into play. And with our platform, we also hope that our viewers get a chance to you know know our athletes even better and give your full moral support. And uh, with your coming uh, Olympic dream. We wish you luck on that one and uh, hope you progress with the great results. Lah, huh? Shami, you should wish him also, ma. give him some love. Just chung 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 chung. Thank you, man. Thank chung, you, Shami. Thank you. All the way. Thanks, yeah. Do Singapore proud, okay? We'll see you later, Pang. Yeah, you take care. See you guys. Thank you, All the best. Enjoy the muscles. Okay, see ya. Bye. Bye. This right. is what, should we, should, should we? I think we should try these. Mm -hmm. There you are. There's some nice ones for you. Thank you. I have that one. There you are, Where's Ben. Mike? You enjoy? Okay. <laughs> Crack them open. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. Mine well, has no muscles yeah. inside at all. Okay. <laughs> it's empty. I think, oh, look at that. Cheers. 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 Yeah. They're not shy about it, right? Mm. Uh, Charmaine, you call yourself my friend. And you so give me shells. I'm very helpful. Eh. These are so I'm good. I'm helping you to eat. You're helping me to mm. clear the plate on my plate. I'm I helping one, you. Uh, don't like hey, that, thank uh. me. Thank me. Thank oh, they've, they've mm. soaked up all the wine and all the yeah. all the flavors. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Mm. So good. <laughs> Here you are, Ben. It's the last show. Here you go, my friend. Look at that. You get huh? the big one there. No, look at that smile. He's happy now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just use my hands. Grab it. Dip it in the broth. Oh, you yeah. can taste you just the, eat, the wine. Just eat them straight out of the shower. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I like the. I like the. I like the. Is that yogurt that you have? Cream fresh. The yeah. Fish. Wow. Yeah. It's like scoop a slightly more tart yogurt, I suppose. Yeah, so scoop it in. Mm. You, you're right. It's a very good supper. Mm. Yep. Supper dish. Very light. Mm -hmm. But you still get a bit of the wine. Oh, I just ate a really big chilli. We're going to end, end off the program with the bang. This is episode yeah. 24. Yeah. And of course, we're going to move on to a new location mm. from uh, the next episode onwards. So mm. once again, we're going to jump on this one. Uh. Are we going to jump? So yep. once again, thank you for joining us on What, what the Cooking! cooking?